right, uh, welcome. Uh, the name here is Michael Dickerson, KC9PHK, uh, here with the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club in Illinois. Uh, I'm going to demo a little program here called Droid Star. Uh, it's available in the Google Play Store. It's free. It's a digital uh, device that allows you to connect with DMR, P25, Fusion, uh, multiple digital modes. Uh, from experience, myself and Ryan, KC9OZA, have had uh, better luck with DMR and with Fusion than we have with P25 and XDN or the other digital modes. Those seem to want to crash the application, and I'm not sure if that's because the app is rather new and in its early stages, or if it's something uh, with the phone configuration. Uh, really easy to set up, uh, minimal. If you've ever set up a DMR radio or have a DMR ID, you're pretty much set, uh, depending on which network you use. Um, I'm going to go backwards at the top. Um, the, I started out at the About tab. Uh, the Log tab is kind of a joke. Uh, there's nothing there. There's no need for anything there. In the Settings, uh, you'll enter your call sign in the top box. Your DMR ID is a seven digit number which is unique to every call sign you will obtain that i believe it's radioid.net um, they will provide that with to you in about two to three days or less um, it's registered to your call sign so every time you transmit into the system uh, it pulls up your uh, call sign your name and such like that in the um, depending on the type of device you're using. Um, the EESS ID, you can add, which is basically a suffix, like for each radio or device you add, hotspot, um, DMR, fusion, if you're using it on a DMR type system, they want you to add a number behind it. Um, so basically it adds additional digits to your DMR ID. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this one down about 404. Um, password is not required. If you're using a Brandmeister repeater, it is required for hotspot security. Brandmeister is based overseas, and they've had some issues with uh, compromised systems, I would say. Um, latitude, longitude, if you want to put those in there. Location, I put my location in. You can put a description. Um, I'm not sure what DMR Plus options are scrolling down here. Um, uh, M17 rate, I have left at 3200 voice. Update hosts and update DMR IDs. I can click them, but I'm not sure if they do anything. I would assume that the program automatically does that when it logs in, but I could be wrong. Uh, the hosts would be where you're connecting to the servers, and the DMR IDs are... Um, as new IDs are issued. Uh, I know that the database, when I was updating it for DMR for my handhelds, was you know, into the 20s, 30s, 40s, thousands. And I know that some of the older Motorola radios were only able to hold 10,000, so you had to kind of um, reduce your list if you were dropping it into Motorola. So I clicked on a main, the main tab at the top, the next, I'm going to click on Mode, and I'm going to go to YSF down here. Uh, that is the Yezu System Fusion Digital Mode. Uh, there's not a lot you can you have to do here. I'm going to connect to the Echo Room. As you can see, there is an entire list, entire list. Um, and right there, FCS00269 is the Illinois link. But we're going to go to the Echo since this is a demo. And uh, I'm going to click connect, and then you'll hear an automated announcement saying that I'm connected. And then I'll do a couple transmissions to show you what the uh, test or echo server can do. Connect. All right, you'll see some of this stuff. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is. It tells you you're connected, obviously. And down at the bottom, it tells you which host you're connected, FCS002. X R E F L E C T O R dot net sixty two five hundred and the ping of thirty. My ping just 
continues to rise apparently but uh, nothing less uh, when you click on transmit you want to hold it press and hold it uh, with your finger I am guessing that you could use a Bluetooth headset uh, providing it was linked in I'm not sure that you could use the Bluetooth headset button to transmit or any method that way I would guess that if you held the button with your finger and talked through your earpiece it would work but um, I think the audio is sufficient for holding this about uh, um, about a foot from your face or so. I mean, you could probably hold it further away, depending on how loud you talk. Um, and uh, anyway, so I'm just going to press and hold the transmit button. I'll make my announcement, and then I'll release it, and we'll hear it echo back to me. KC9 PHK doing a test. KC9 PHK testing. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. KC9 PHK. As you can tell, audio comes back decent quality. It's got a little bit of a digital uh, chop to it. Could be the phone. It could be the network. Obviously, the ping, like I said, is kind of high, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the ping's accurate because it just keeps going up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. And I'm going to switch to DMR. And I'm connected to the TGIF network. So the TGIF network is 9990. And I'm going to click private because for a parrot or their echo for TGIF, you always connect um, as a private call. Then you click connect up here in the mode. And we're connected. I'm not sure. It, let's see. Okay, so my guess is that it didn't connect. It just connected when I transmitted. I forgot about DMR. Uh, then okay. Something is not working, and I'm not sure why. KC9 PHK testing one two three four KC9 PHK clear. Okay, so we got a little digital uh, garble in there. Uh, as you can see, it did connect. Uh, SRC ID is showing ninety nine ninety. Uh, it shows obviously my um, destination ID is my radio ID, and then the GW ID is the entire number, including my O4 for my portable uh, or other device. Uh, so, I think the program may be uh, glitchy, maybe, or maybe the system was busy at the time. But when I just transmitted, that did not go RF. That was strictly um, digital uh, right into the server and back out. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. Uh, the talk group 4000 is the talk group to disconnect. Okay, now we've disconnected from there. Um, another thing I'm going to show real quick is talk group 777. Now, as soon as I change this talk group, so I've changed the talk group up there where the cursor's flashing, I'm going to click transmit once in DMR, uh, and it will basically just start scanning all the talk groups. TGIF is unique in that it has a scan function. The only problem with TGIF's scan function is it scans as long as it's uh, finding a transmission it will go to that talk group then when 
the audio drops from that talk group, it goes on to the next. And so there, it's pretty much redundant, a redundant scan. It will scan until you disconnect from it. And I have found that at least with this application that you can disconnect from the server and get it to stop uh, because I do not think that you can actually disconnect from the scan from the app, but we'll try it. So here we're going to connect. I'm not going to probably be able to speak because the audio will probably cover me over, but uh, I will demonstrate it. So talk group 777, and then I'm going to click rapidly click transmit. Again, I'm not transmitting over anyone. I'm just activating the talk group. You said best we get off to Chris. Who the funny next Christy? Good grief, Christine. Well, I'll tell you what, hi, bud. You have a lovely to your eighties. Have a porridge with half a teaspoonful of marmite in it. Not too strong. And uh, three rounds of toast. See, it saves me toasting and spreading the marmite on the toast. Should I do the same thing, isn't it, when it gets in my system? Okay, so that does work actually. To disconnect, you can put 4,000 in there and transmit, and the app is smart enough to disconnect it. So what it was pulling up there was uh, the talk group 23526, which is the Hubnet All-Star Link. It's the biggest amateur radio network of analog FM repeaters, gateways and hotspots in the United Kingdom. It's also linked uh, with a Wires X room and Echo Link. So um, that actually worked pretty well. Um, I think I've demonstrated about everything I can in here. Um, I'm not going to go to any of the other modes. Like I said, uh, just a few days ago they were crashing. And I'm not sure if that's phone related or application related. Obviously, uh, System Fusion, YSF. Um, XRF and um, DMR obviously are functional. And between TGIF and all the other uh, DMR capable servers... Actually, this isn't even, it's pulling up XLS for some reason. Oh, there they are. Scrolling up, these are scrolling through all the worldwide DMR repeaters. Um, there are private DMR repeaters. There are the B, the ones that start with BM, Bravo Mary. Um, they are... Uh, Brainmeister, so you will have to have that hotspot security password in the password column over here on the settings. Um, the HB, I'm not sure what they are. There's also DMR Plus, which is, I believe, a system that was is kind of outdated. Um, some still use it. Some systems are all linked together. So like the Illinois Link 31171 on Brandmeister is the same on TGIF. Um, and then it's also, it has a FCS room, so it's Fusion Digital Linked. A lot of that stuff is uh, pretty uh, interesting. Uh, there's a DMR to NXDN, DMR to YSF, DMR Gateway. Um, TGIF is kind of hard to find. I overlooked it the first time I scrolled through here. You kind of have to go low down in the list. Obviously, these are organized in alphabetic order, though. Um, so, with that, I will say have a good day, and uh, hopefully you find this program as interesting as we have, and maybe you'll find it useful.